guys, um, ignore the background noises, it's just my next door neighbours horrendously loud, um, but today I'm going to do a tattoo video thing. <clears throat> I did actually film this once already, um, but I filmed it last Monday or whatever, and when I was at my boyfriend's house, his editing software just completely died, and he's like, no. So that's why I didn't film last week. I'm really sorry about this. Oh, um, that's why I'm filming now another video because after watching the last video back, it was a bit like, oh, what is this? Yeah, it was really, really horrendous, and it would just have taken ages to edit, and I haven't had time all that much apart from tonight, uh, which is Sunday. So I'm just going to refilm and hopefully I won't have to edit as much. So, like I said, I'm going to do a tattoo video just explaining what tattoos I've got, um, sort of the pain of them and why, why they're there. So I'm going to start with my first tattoo, which is these birds right here on my wrist. It took about 15 minutes and cost me about £45. It wasn't painful at all. On a scale of 1 to 5, I'd probably say it's a pain of about 2, maybe 1.5. And the reason I got birds on my wrist is, as you can, we'll see later on, um, throughout all of my tattoos, it's sort of um, an embodiment of facing my fears and growing as a person and gaining some freedom from the traumas that I had when I was younger. Oh, deep moment. Um, but So that was basically that one. The timing that I had it was sort of after I just split up with my ex-boyfriend of sort of two years and it was a messy breakup and I thought I was in love with him and so what I tend to do is change myself because it makes me feel better and it makes me feel like I've started afresh. So that was basically my first tattoo, the least painful tattoo I've ever had. And yeah, um, the next one of the two are my rears. This one says, I'm the hero of this story um, and has butterflies on it. The butterflies are there to symbolize sort of um, the butterfly project um, with Suicide Awareness Week. And this one says, I don't need to be able to say the lyrics. Um, the words themselves actually link together in the song goes, I'm the hero of the story, I don't need to be saved. I mean, it's a song by Regina Spector. So it's a song that always meant something to me. And I think it's kind of self-explanatory. You're the person that's in charge of your own life. So you're the one there to move on from it and grow from it. Um, once again, about 20-ish minutes, 20 minutes each. Didn't hurt all that much. Um, this wrist probably cost in total about £55, and this one probably about 50 Um I went to two different places to get them done, and this one here, you probably can't tell so well on the camera, but the writing has spread a lot more than this one, so the ink spread a lot more and it just doesn't look as neat. Um, particularly since this one was done after the I'm the Hero of This Story. So it's just disappointing that it doesn't look as beautiful, basically. Um, but I'm not disappointed with it. The message behind it still stands, so that's all that really matters. My next one, um, in terms of pain, was the cherry blossoms on my foot. I'll insert a picture here. Um, these ones don't really have all that much of a story behind them. I think they look pretty. kind of wanted to put like, some sort of flowers on my foot, like around my ankle. Um, this one took about an hour. Um, in terms of pain, <clears throat> I'd probably say it's at about a three. So it's it's quite painful, um, particularly under the squishy part and just underneath my ankle and just going on top of my foot. It's bony and there's not a lot of flesh there. Um, 
and those were the main places that really kind of had a little bit of tingle to them um, the colour didn't hurt that all that much and um, it was mostly the outline and the shading that added the extra little bit of um, which leads me on to my next tattoo the one I got on my right foot which I'll have a picture of here It's a dandy line, obviously. Um, it links with the rest of my tattoos, the same sort of theme as I explained a little while ago. Um, innocence, freedom, etc., etc. Moving with the wind. Um, yeah, basically, uh, this one hurt a little bit more, probably say three and a half to about four, maybe. Um, because it was straight on the top of my foot from the moment ago. It did, however, only take half an hour, so it wasn't a long time to put up with sort of the pain. Um, what I can maybe, if you've ever epilated your legs, this is the only way I can describe that it felt for me. It was horrendous, right, from the moment ago, but I'm a bit, <laughs> I like to pretend I'm tough. So I've got to pretend that doesn't hurt. Um, which brings me on to my last tattoo, in which it looks like this. And basically this one lasted for about an hour and 50 minutes, hour and 45 minutes. Um, and pretty much an hour of it was spent on the feather. This, I could not pretend that it didn't hurt. The feather hurt so much. Um, mostly, it was on the ribs, obviously. Um, if you ask anybody that's ever had a tattoo, rib tattoos hurt. No two ways about it, especially if they're spending an hour shading in fine lines on a feather. Whatever. It was just so painful. Um, the bit that comes round onto the main part of my rib cage um, rather than the side was fine, it was sort of bearable, it didn't particularly hurt hey ho um, oh, the two on my feet in total cost £90 and the one on my rib cage cost £150 so hopefully that gives you a sort of gauge of what sort of size costs around about what amount I know that it's UK only but I'm not American so I can't help you with that um, yeah that's basically all my tattoos for now hi guys so horrendous <laughs> Man here. So dope.